Hey guys, Chaz here from Puglisi Speed Shop with your Tuesday morning tech tip. All right, so the car that we're going to get, right? It's a, it's a bucket list car for a whole lot of people for a whole lot of different reasons, right? And like I said, there's, you know, there's a list of cars, everybody's got them. And a lot of them are the same for, you know, all different people. And when you got the opportunity to scoop one up, you put the trailer in a truck and you go there. Doesn't matter what you guys did. Doesn't matter if you're in the middle of something, doesn't matter whatever, right? You go. So this car has been sitting in a garage in Delaware, I believe, for 38 years. Supposedly in the 70s at some point, it was taken apart to do a V8 swap and uh, just didn't happen, I guess. From uh, pictures and all that, it's rust free. Now we've heard that before. Well, I said the other one was rust free. Didn't look at stuff right. I think we did this time because I'm not the only one who looked at it. So, and uh, yeah, supposedly it's rust free. Like I said, been sitting there forever. And I said, it doesn't matter what you're in the middle of, right? So today is actually Veterans Day. So for all you guys out there that are veterans, happy Veterans Day. Um, that being said, we were on the bikes yesterday. We shot up to Philly for the Marine Corps birthday. Great time. But you guys know, you guys know how to have a good time. There's no question about that. Uh, then we rode back down today. Just parked the old road glide. She's back there still ticking cooling down you know and I'm gonna jump in the truck scoop up Kevin my buddy Nick and we're going to Delaware I guess it changed its mind yeah you, you come with us whether you like it or not <laughs> That's it. That's it, huh? She on. She on. Oh. Nick, you got, a, you got any words? This is a... Uh, words of wisdom? Uh, nothing that comes to mind right now. Nothing? No. How about the fact that you're a proud owner of a 55 Chevy Bel Air? Two-door cool. post. <laughs> <laughs> so we stopped at the old Royal Farms here. Get a little gas. And put a little light on this car. Couldn't really take any video at the uh, the guy's house because it was pretty dark. But uh, Nick bought himself a 55 Chevy Bel Air. Two-door post. Like I said earlier, it's a bucket list car for a whole lot of people. He's he's in love. Can't blame him one bit. So the story is this thing sat in a garage for 38 years. Not this door's got some rust on it down the bottom. A whole bunch of mud on it. That might be a replacement. He's got the radio. Hey, you guys finally get to meet Nick. Hey. <laughs> what was right here? A little package tray? That's a glove box, isn't it? Isn't the glove box under that clock over there? Could be the glove box. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. Never had one. Yeah. <laughs> right. All pretty, uh... So what was the story? You got to tell, tell them the story how it was, it was raced in the 70s raced and all that? Raced in the 70s, parked in a garage for 38 years. But you said the guy, was it the guy saw it when he was like 10 years old? Was the guy like 50 something now? Yeah. Saw it when he was 10, the guy offered for sale later on. The guy didn't want anything to do with it. That's where we came in. <laughs> now it's Nick's. 
So yeah, he said it was race. You can tell like, I don't know if you can really see it. You can see this. This is kind of glass. They cut this out. They took the lip off inside here, so it lost their rigidity. Look at that, huh? Some old fentons. We even got Kevin out after dark. I know, it's my bedtime. <laughs> When you're looking at a 55 Bel Air, I mean, you can see how a little late. No motor or trans. We don't know what he's going with yet. His mind's just racing. Oh, well, guys, it's pretty dark, but uh, trailer's put back where it uh, belongs. Well, until it comes and gets it. And um, we're done for the night. Got it dropped off at Nick's house, threw the cover over it so it was taken care of because it's supposed to rain tonight. Uh, it's really dark out of his house too, so, and his, you know, he's got neighbors and whatnot, so we didn't film nothing out there doing that. But, I'm going to head back to the house. I had to get some sleep because it's after midnight. And, yeah, I'm tired. But, I will see you guys tomorrow. We'll do a little wrap up on what's going to go on with, well, there's nothing back there. But, this car. See you tomorrow, guys. All right, guys. I think this lesson's pretty easy to learn, right? If you got the chance to go buy a 55 Chevy two-door post, you do it. Right? So, you got a little bit of background uh, throughout the video there, and this is what we did. Nick was working on a Fox body project. He bought a four cylinder, like rust free car from down south. And then he bought a parts car, you know, a V8 convertible that was terrible. But, uh, and he was putting them together. And then he kind of just like, man, you know what? If I'm going to put this much work into something, I want it to be something I absolutely love. And, I'm, you know, he's like, ah, his exact words were, I don't want to build something from the 90s, man. You know, if I'm, if I'm putting all this work, right? Not that Fox buyers are cool. Don't get me wrong. But it's not his dream car, right? And he's doing an awful lot. I mean, he's, he was tearing it apart. He was doing, he was doing it right, which is good, right? Um, he said, man, I just don't love it. He's got a habit, a little bit of a habit of, if he don't love something, he just, he offs it. And then he goes on to the next. And that's good. That's fine. It's, you know, you, you can pick up some good projects that way. People that don't want to mess with them no more. For him, it's just, he's not in love with it. You know, he's, he's had a couple cars he's finished. And it's because he fell in love with them. And I think that's going to be the case with this 55. But, um, so he said, you know what I want? I want a 55 two-door post. And he's been looking at tri fives for a while. And he's kind of was, like, oh, maybe this, maybe that. And he's like, no, this is what I want. He sought out to find it. A couple weeks later, he found it uh, about three hours away from here, two and a half hours. And uh, we went and got, you know, the, we saw, he saw it. He hit the guy up. The guy's like, yeah, I got some other people. He's like, I'm on my way. And that's what you got to do. If you want to grab a car, something like that, that just, like I said, it's a bucket list for like probably half of America, if not more. So they're all, everybody's looking for it. You got to go. You got to be the first guy there. And that's what he did. So, you gotta have the trailer ready. You gotta have none of the. Oh, I gotta ask the wife. Let me do that. No, that you're done with that. That's you go. You know she'll understand. That's Megan always does. I don't know, but uh, so I mean, and what a cool story with the car. Um, the guy he bought it from was like playing in his yard when he was a kid or something, and. Saw the car go by on a trailer, looking just like it looks now. He's like 10 years old. And I guess his parents were still in the same neighborhood, whatever. And the car, he didn't do anything with it. So the car, uh, and then it, then it came for sale, and he, this guy jumped on it. And you know, I don't know if he, a little more than he thought it was going to be, or whatever the case was there. Nick lucked out and was there to grab it. So, you, you know, win-win, right? Um, you got a car with a cool story. It has some drag racing background to it. Um, I showed you in the fenders there. You know, they were, it was, the car was a six cylinder, three speed, you know, three on the tray. 
turned into a V8, I don't know what was in it, automatic car and raced and then stripped down again and just sat for 38 years. And uh, like Nick said in the video, that's where he comes in. So he's already, he's got a windshield for it. He picked a windshield up the other day. Um, Facebook or Craigslist find or whatever, local guy. Uh, and I guess the guy also had some doors because the bottom of those doors it was bad. So he's he's wasting no time. He went home that night. Uh, well, he, I think he worked the next day, but over the weekend, he put all the suspension and everything back underneath that Fox body, took it off the lift. Yeah, his shop's got a lift. And pushing it out, the 55's going in. He's got the other one listed for sale. And uh, he's going to pull it off the frame, sandblast the frame, POR, all that kind of stuff, and, and get it done. When this guy puts his mind to something, I promise you, he's got, he's, he's going to get it done. And you're going to be there to see it. Because what we're going to do is, he's his shop, he's, he's got a shop behind the house, and he's, uh, I actually pass it almost every day on the way to work. So when he gets some work done, we'll stop by, we'll get some video, and we'll keep it going that way. This way, who doesn't want to see a 55 Chevy get built? He's thinking big block, four speed. Kevin's trying to talk him into an LS. Maybe, he'll, I don't know. We'll see what he does. The only one way to find out, and that is to make sure you're subscribed right here to Puglisi Speed Shop and just keep up with what's going on. We always got something going on, all right? Thanks for watching, guys.